I am not normal. I am beyond anything that any man has ever witnessed. I am a wound that festers. <laughs> a scent that stinks in the sun. Trolls fear me. I am mind fucked. Once a dranger, now a dragger. A walking dead. Rotten within and without. Fuck! Wow. This man is insane. Okay. Greetings. What the fuck? Is this bro? battlefield yours? This is the gutter of an unchained Drenger. A lost Drenger. That is what I am. I am vile. I should not be allowed to suck on clean air. A Drenger kills honorably, with glory and pride. Were these men not innocent? Many of them were. Many were not. <laughs> Their blood is now mingled and it stinks of the iron of my blades. <laughs> what an end! <sighs> Beloved Ragnar Lothbrok. He always kept me in check. He steadied the ship of my hooger. Without him, I have lost my bearings. <laughs> I scare myself. Not a thread of decency remains. The dragger I was, I have lost him. But you end this suffering for me. You live with a great pain. One that cannot be eased by a verkilt, nor a reckoning. Yes, you know my pain. And you look as though you could end it. <laughs> Do this then. A final kindness for an unworthy wretch. Law Stringer, I will fight you and help you find what Ragnar gave you. Loki's children, take me one and all! <laughs> it's one of our own retreat! Oh, Beware! Death to us both! Good! Good! You're welcome! You have lands to me, Nakvila, the fetid boy. Let this death be the only good I have done since my master's death. Odin welcomes all kinds, so long as they war louder and drink faster than the last man. Okay. I need your eyes, my friend.
these old two. I call on you, nay, demand of you. Send me a home gang champion to test my might. Oh. I am waiting to fight your champion, Loki Rabbit. Send them forth to meet me in the square. Is this the champion you've conjured for the home gang, Loki Rabbit? Looks like a fine fighter to me. A warrior I am, but I have nothing to do with a rabbit. I, I've been ready. I am ready. Fists up! Or then aren't you? Oh. <laughs> Thick skull. Yeah. Alright, alright, yeah. bitch. <laughs> What did Loki Rabbit promise you, champion? Wealth? Fame? Honor? The rabbit said nothing. A lesson you should learn. <laughs> the Lingo Rabbit. What the hell? Oh, what? He's Where are you off to, Loki? <laughs> Guys, is a trickster's trait. That man will forever play the fool. Oh, wow. <laughs> ah, look at you, big and tall. What's your name? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Come here, come closer. Do you like to drink? As I like breathing. And do you like to flight? I do. Well, listen. Mm. Here, these folk aren't impressed by the speed of your thinking. They will only respect you for how much you're drinking. No. Oh, well. If you're sober, then leave, for there's not here for you. Oh, I'll shut your big mouth while I finish my brew. Oh, I'll shut your big mouth while I finish my brew. That's the spirit. Now make your wager. The ale's free to those who flight. I'll buy you a round with my winnings. How's that? Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Are you ready? What about one more drink before we begin? For luck. For luck. Your face is a wreck. You're a blight on the Norse. <laughs> oh, damn. Your face brings to mind the arse end of a horse. Brilliant! 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 Yes! Have another drink. <laughs> yes, yes! Here's the next one. You're a pig-headed, ugly excuse for a Dane. Well, you're a thick skull and loathsome and lacking a brain. <laughs> you're brilliant. You're the smartest person I've ever met. 
You hold your own. <laughs> Let's have another. You. I'm a champion, a winner. I'll claim the top prize. Just saying, but cocky rise. Troy culture. Ha! I will say it again. <laughs> I'm a champion, a winner. I'll claim the top prize. Prize. Drinking far too much ale. Now you're just telling lies. You can break a proper lies. That was the most incredible Yo. flighting I've heard in all what my the years. Fuck was you that? are a wonder. Yeah. I'll say the same of you, friend. That was Three amazing. Three cheers for Eivor, the most masterful wordsmith in all Run. of England. <laughs> it's like the fucking family episode. Oh, man. That was fish great. Fish. Where's that husband of yours? Off fishing again. Yo, that was so amazing. he says, but the only thing he ever catches is more gambling debts. I fear I cannot keep him around. You're better off without that wastrel. My husband should be back by now. The poor log worries me so. He fishes along Scarborough shore beneath the Tower of Ruins, does he not? That's foolish. The cliffs are too steep. One who has need of their wits wanders wide. I might find good fishing below the Scarborough cliffs. Lucky way to die. Doubt you felt much. Love letter to my dearest wife. I know your patience has been tested time and time again. I am the one to blame, and the fault is mine alone. <gasps> we were young, and I had begged you to marry me. I know in recent time that I have gone astray. The path of vice was the easiest to tread, but I see clearer now without drink, without smoke. Thank you for all that you have done, for your kindness, warmth, and for tending our stall in Picharinga. Happy anniversary, my darling. I hope you like this gift. <gasps> a fishmonger can't sell weak old fish. Yeah. Where's that husband of yours? Off oh, fishing again. Are you the wife of the man who fishes below the cliff? My husband fishes there, yes, and I run the stall. Do you fancy some fine, fresh fish? I found your husband. And where is that fool? Drunk in some bed, working off a debt. Dead, I fear. Some bandits crushed him with a rock, hoping to fleece him. No! Damn. Why? Bro. That sweet fool. Leaving me penniless. Here. Take this ring. I found it on his body. It is rightfully yours. His mother's ring. That fool. That damned, soft, loving fool. Thank you, stranger. At least I have this. Mary, they said. Marriage has left me not but a poor widow. With nary a fish to sell. That love... That lovesick fool. I warned him to stay away from the cliffs. Kellen. Ignorant brat! Damn, 
her. <laughs> She's fucking badass. Damn, dude. Trolls await. All right, let's see. Who's this guy? There's three left, huh? Callan, Long Sorrow, a hermit who lives deep in the woods. Long Sorrow holds himself motionless until small birds wander his way. He then throttles them and eats their flesh with joyous abandon. What the? Upgrade some stuff, shall we? Hello. Need something forged? Good day. Is Gunner about or oh, no. did he leave and not mention it? My name is Rima, and Gunner is a good friend of mine. Ask me to run his shop while he's away. It is good to meet you, and strange to see Gunner away from his forge. Well, as far as I know, he's got a very compelling and beautiful reason for his absence. So here I am. Oh. Well, if Gunner has faith in you, I do too. Then I say you have fine taste. Have a look at what I've got. You have discarded it. It was not rubbish. I intended to use it. Please, calm down. <laughs> Ranvi, what is this? One of these again? Another dispute, I'm afraid. With Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. You'll state your cases, and I'll hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sail cloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. With scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. <laughs> You're well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Guthrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks, and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view, I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Guthrun disposed of something, and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. I mean, is it true? Guthrun, I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. I scoured the settlement, passing Holger's home. 
License! Holger, quiet now, Guthrie. I confronted him. Then I ask on. So Holger took something that belonged. That is right. All right, I have heard. I might have profited from that cloth. Holger has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. I mean, is it true? After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Guthron are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Oh, God. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, Stop! I was... Stop! Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 sailcloths. Damn, bro. 30 times? Surely you jest. That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay pranks, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl. If I may, I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... 30 times! In silver! Bruh. That is my judgment. That is intense. Eivor, please. Does this not seem unfair? Yeah, bro. Sigurd, the punishment must fit the crime. Your judgment is cruel and unfair. Cruel and unfair? Oh, no. No, you have it backwards. I am the definition of what is fair and what is not. I am your yard, the source of all right and wrong, the lord of justice in this place. Without rank, without order, without a chain of command, life cannot endure. Chaos will reign. Do you understand? As my brother and my Jarl, I back you, Sigurd. But in the face of injustice, I cannot help but speak. <laughs> Have you never in your life known when to hold your tongue, Eivor? Nor defer to those wiser than yourself? My judgment stands. Thirty times the sailcloth's value. That is final. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> Bruh, it's fucked up, man. You were well within your rights. My love, I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a sight you have seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never. Ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik with Juvina and Jord's aid. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls. Hmm. Hey, there it is.